Sleepy Eye is a small farming community located in south central Minnesota. Sleepy Eye is isolated from the economic opportunities prevalent in larger cities, but that isolation is on the decrease due to technological advancements, in particular the technology of broadband. Last year, Blandin granted the city of Sleepy Eye $10,000, which was matched by local businesses. This money was used to establish broadband service in our community through the Get Broadband project. The grant also provided scholarships for seven individuals within the community to take online classes through broadband. It also allowed for the purchase of computers for those without. Tools and maintenance were also purchased as part of the grant to teach individuals and local businesses how to use broadband. This grant has substantially helped a number of businesses and individuals in our community in many positive ways. For instance, Julie Krebs, a 2006 graduate of St. Mary's High School, was fortunate enough to receive one of those scholarships to take online classes. All of this was made possible through the grant by the Blandin Foundation. Now I'm taking in business, a business ethics course and a market course online, as well as a nonprofit leadership course. These classes are working out really well for me. I get to spend a lot of time at home doing this. I take care of my brother in school because he has muscular dystrophy. He received the new wheelchair and I bought for a grant. I take my brother to school in the morning and I stay here till 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock I go to the library till 2 to work on my online and other classes. At the Catholic school we attend, there is no elevator to get to the top floor in the high school. So I take him up the stairs. I'm here between the hours of 8.15 and 10 o'clock usually. And then I come back after school to pick him up. Landon Foundation has given me the opportunity to take care of my brother when he needs me the most. It has made an impact on me because it's given me the opportunity to, to take other classes that I normally would not because of the added cost of the internet courses. Landon has helped me achieve what I want to in life. Julie Krebs plans to continue helping her brother in school and in the future hopes to take online classes through Colorado Technical University. Another person who was affected by the Blandon Foundation's generous donation was Randy Larson, who owns a local furniture store. We received a computer, the screen, and we received um, internet uh, use, uh, that was part of it, and we also received uh, training. And we're using it more and more every day, more and more of the companies that we do business with. Instead of using letters in the mail, we're getting emails from our companies, and then when the order is shipped, they'll send us a bill on it over the computer, and it's much, fa much faster that way than the old way. Um, we have the capability now to go to our Lazy Boy website and put this fabric on this chair and have a picture for them to see what their new chair would look like. And it will give us a picture. The customer can visualize it a lot better than by just looking at a small sample like this. Randy Larson hopes that using new computers and broadband service will continue to help his business grow. In the end, Blandon's generous donation has helped on many levels. From individuals to local businesses, Blandon has made a difference in our community. In the future, Blandon's donation will continue to pay off as citizens of our community continue to discover the benefits of broadband services. As you can see, the goal of this project wasn't simply to purchase computers, establish broadband, and give scholarships. It was to impact the lives of individuals in a positive way and help businesses in our community prosper, and in turn, to make Sleepy Eye an even greater place to call home. <laughs>